What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here back with another video. This is Gemini Jet's December slash January 2022 releases. Now, uh, as it says in the title, these these releases are both for December and January. Now, it seems like a normal Gemini Jet's release, uh, but they just made it over two months. So I guess Gemini Jet's is gonna start doing this now because they did it last month. So now they're gonna do it uh, for the next two months. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start with the one to 400 models. Starting off with the one to 400 models, we have an Air Canada 787-9 Dreamliner. This is in their normal new livery. Registration on this is Charlie Victor November Delta and it's 5795. Now, there is a flaps slash slats extended version. Uh, which it just says flaps down, but you can't see it in the clip art. And uh, yeah, continuing on down the line, we have an Alaska A320-200. This is in their fly with pride livery. Now, um, had this been a few years ago, I probably would have gotten this. Uh, Alaska used to fly the 320 in Newark, but they don't fly the 320 anymore. They stopped, I believe, a year ago, so I'm not getting this. But the registration is the number 854 Victor Alpha and 854 VA, and the price is $47.95. But obviously, all the model stores are going to price these models a little bit lower than Gemini Jets' MSRP because it is getting quite expensive. Moving on down the line, we have a Boeing 777-300ER in the Korean Air livery. Registration on this is Hotel Lima 7784 HL 7784, and it's 5895. Now there is a flaps slats extended version too, which is pretty much the same thing, but with the flaps and slats extended. Now I do enjoy. I'm enjoying seeing Gemini Jets continue this uh, without. Uh, throughout their whole entire different molds. Uh, I believe they started this with the 747 and now they moved to the 777, uh, the 787. So I do enjoy that Gemini Jets is doing that because it adds a lot more variety to the models you can get. Continuing on down the line, we have a Southwest 737-800. This is in their Freedom 1 livery. Now, a lot of model stores have been selling this for a few months now, uh, but it's good to see that Gemini Jets has finally released it. So the wait, uh, the anticipated wait for the Gemini Jets version of this model is finally over. But the registration on this is November 500 Whiskey Romeo and 500 WR, and it's $47.95. Moving on down the line, we have a United 737 MAX 8. Now, I'm definitely going to go for this just because of the fact that, number one, United flies the MAX 8 to Newark pretty much every single day on their Miami and Houston routes. That and the fact that I had this uh, in the Continental livery. I had this model, not the same registration, but this mold, and I really did enjoy that MAX mold, so I think I'm going to go for this again. But the registration on this is November 2725 India and 2725 Oh. It's a one, so it's the number two seven two five one, and the price is forty seven ninety five. We've gone to the last one to four hundred cargo slash passenger model. We have this uh, UPS uh, seven sixty seven three hundred registration on this thing is the number three two two uniform papa and three two three two two UP, and it's fifty two ninety five. Continuing on to the Gemini Max. This month we only have, or for the next two months, we're only going to have one Gemini Jets Max model, or Gemini Max. This one is an Australian Royal Australian Air Force C-17. Uh, now, obviously, I don't need it, but I do like that uh, they put the 100 years, because that's just, I like it. It's a nice touch. But uh, registration on this is Alpha 41206, and it's 4995. Continuing on down the line, Gemini Jets is once again continuing the trend of releasing a 1 to 400 model and then putting in 1 to 200 with the Alaska Fly with Pride AT20. Obviously, it's the same registration, but since it's in 1 to 200, the price is $95.95. Moving on down the line, we have an Alaska 737-900. This is in their R Commitment livery. I believe this was released uh, a few months ago. I think it was in their September 22 releases. So this is about on track. Uh, registration on this is number 492 Alpha Sierra, and it's $99.95. Moving on down the line, we have a new mold. I I think it's a new mold, but I never, I've never seen this in 1 to 200 before. This is a 1 to 200 Twin Otter. This is in the Allegheny Commuter Delivery. Registration is the number 102 Alpha Charlie and 102 AC, and it's $69.95. Continuing on down the line, we have an American ERJ 145. This was released last month in 1 to 400, and now it's being released this month in 1 to 200. Registration is number 603 Kilo Charlie and 603 KC, and it's 82.95. Moving on down the line, we have an Atlas Air Interactive 1 to 200 model. This is exactly the same one as I believe either last month or the month before, November 492 Mike Charlie, and of course it's two. Wow, that is a lot of money. That's 200 dollars. 
uh, but obviously model stores are going to price it a little bit less. Continuing on online, we have an EVA Air Cargo Triple 2 with the optional open slash doors closed configuration. Registration on this thing is Bravo 16761 and the price or 816781 and it's 153 bucks. Moving on online, we have four Southwest models. We have uh, two 737-800s. This is the Freedom one with and without the flaps. Uh, registration is number 500 Whiskey Romeo. And we have two Alaska 77700s. One is in the Lone Star 1, and one is in the flap slats extended. Now, uh, for some reason, the Alaska 738 and the Freedom 1 is 95 and 99. Uh, but, oh, wow, they're actually the same price. For the 737, 700, and the 800, uh, both of their normal and flaps down, they're the same price. So 95, 95 for the normal ones, and 99, 95 for the flaps down. Continuing on, we have a TWA 717. Registration is number four and eight Tango Whiskey, and it's ninety-seven ninety-five. And here we have a United seven three seven seven hundred. This is in their flaps down livery. Registration is number two one seven two three, and the price is ninety-nine ninety-five. Moving on to the last aircraft of this release, we have an Altus Air Force Base C seven C seventeen Globemaster three. The registration is zero zero one seven nine, and it's one hundred thirty bucks. But I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the clip art on this is it's horrible. Uh, the wing is detached from the model, <laughs> and that's funny. The the wing or the engine is detached from the model, and uh, yeah, that's really all there is to this release. Now, I think Gemini Jets is gonna make this a thing. They're gonna be releasing just. Uh, a bunch of models that would normally be for one month for two months i believe for the next few months until the shipping delays are solved so october november which is why this is december and january but yeah the only thing that i'd really get from this release is the united 77 max 8 i don't know if i'd go for one or two of these uh just because united flies these on quite a high frequency on houston and miami so i maybe i'm definitely going for one but i may want to go for two and uh the ups 763 i'm probably gonna go for one of them but uh yeah that's really all i'm gonna get from this release but that being said that's just to include this video if you guys like the video please like subscribe and turn that notification bell so it's my videos and comment down below what you're getting this from what you're getting from this release once again thank you for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video as always goodbye